Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. iOS 18 Beta 2 has been released to developers today. Get about 1.26 gigabytes of my iPhone 13 Pro Max. My 14 Pro Max I installed it. The build number is 22A5297F and there are about 16 changes that I found in this beta today. So let's get started. So in AirPlay and continuity, the iPhone mirroring option to Mac is now available. When adding the personal hotspot toggle to your control center, it now has a slash through it. To add a control to your control center, we go down to vision accessibility. The hover text now displays properly. When editing your home screen, we click edit. There are now new icons for customize. See, instead of a paintbrush, it's now a paintbrush on an iPhone home screen. On the home screen, when you click customize, you can now see there's a now a new toggle from toggle to dark to light. In accessibility, the music haptic icon has gone from blue to red. When you go to eye tracking, there is now a new description. When in dark mode, when you go to settings, you can now see all the stock icons are now in dark mode. In Siri settings, you can now see there's a much shorter description about what the Siri does. Obviously, when you're in dark mode, you can now see all the stock icons have now changed from light to dark. Now, when setting a photo from your Photos app as a wallpaper, you can now see that pinch to crop has now been moved up. When customizing the clock on iOS 18 Beta 2, you can now see when we click the globe to change the style of clock we want, we have some more options now. iCloud, when you go to Save to iCloud, you'll now notice while in dark mode, the icons are now changed from light to dark. So now it matches the system now. All right, so that is all the changes that I could find in iOS 18 Beta 2 today. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, thumbs up the video. Peace out.